Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another tweak review. We're taking a look at Palert. This is a paid tweak Insidia and it's pretty damn awesome. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to change your iOS pop-up alerts to look more like tvOS style. So we're going to go ahead and jump into settings here. I'm going to show you guys what this tweak is all about. Let's go in tweaks here and then we'll go into Palert. So here is the settings panel for Palert. First off, you have your enabled on off switch. Uh, which is pretty standard for all tweaks. Next, you have some options, and before we start messing with the options of the tweak, I'm just gonna go ahead and send myself a test alert uh, really quickly so you guys can get an idea of what this tweak looks like. So we'll just go ahead and click on default. So there you go, when you get a pop-up notification, this is what it's gonna look like now instead of that iOS style. And I actually really like the way that this looks. It's obviously the same as tvOS, per, or for the most part, and it just, it just looks good. And then we have the text input pop-up. So when you have a text input, that's what it's gonna look like. So that's just for example, obviously, just to test out to see how you're changing the way this looks. But by default, that's what the two pop-ups are gonna look like. So let's go up and let's start messing with the settings. First option you have is to use your wallpaper. So let's go ahead and let's do another test here. So as you guys can see, instead of giving a blur effect over whatever app I'm in or whatever on my springboard, it just uses your wallpaper as the background. So that's kind of a cool option. Go ahead and click on okay. So you do have the option to use a custom color as well uh, with this. So basically that kind of blur style will be colorized and it's cool because at the top there you can actually see what color it's gonna look like. So if we just bump these colors up like so, let's go ahead and I guess let's make like a pink color. So let's change it to pink, let's go down, let's do another test here. So as you guys can see the blur kind of has a lot more of a pink shade to it. Of course, if you wanted to just have a colorized blur, you can go ahead and turn off your wallpaper and then you have like the purple style like that, which honestly looks pretty cool. So you have color options, you have the wallpaper option. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all back to default, which is turned all the way down. And then you have your blur amount. So if we turn the blur amount way down, go ahead and do another default test. As you guys can see, it's just overlaying in the application. We can go ahead and turn the blur way up and it's extremely blurry, pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down a bit, and then you also do have the alert size, so we can go ahead and make it really big, just like so, as you guys can see, it basically takes up my entire screen, or we can even make it a lot smaller. Go ahead and do that again. So there you go, yeah, as you can see, it's uh, down in size by quite a bit. I actually like it just about right there. I think it's pretty nice, just like so, and that obviously does change the text input size as well. So there you go, and then you have your alternate style buttons. So there's the default, there's the alternate, I like the alternate. And that's pretty much all the tweak does. It just changes your pop-up style alerts and also your text input pop-ups. Um, so, you know, I think it's a pretty well put together tweak. Uh, it is paid, like I said. Um, I'll leave the package information down in the description for those of you that might be uh, you know, curious on checking this out or downloading it. I'll show you guys here really quickly, example. So it's kind of like what a text message would look like if you have it set up uh, as a pop-up notification. Remember, by default, I'm pretty sure messages is a banner, uh, but you can change it to a pop-up in settings. That's what I did, just to give you guys an idea of what it kind of looks like when you get certain notifications. Uh, so definitely a very, very cool tweak. Uh, again, the package information is down in the description. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Palert. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more tweaks in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.